I, I think back to Australian Idol. That was my big reality TV show oh, really? when I was a teen. Oh, we all loved Idol. Yep. But you, you remember those auditions where someone would come to and sing to the judges and they would just be absolutely terrible, yep. like so bad they'd clearly just be there to be made fun of. Totally. From memory, the singers have to go through a pre-audition. Um, yeah. Before, don't they? Before they make it to the judges. So the judges are letting people through for the purpose of humiliating oh, yeah. them. That, 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 that's how it works, isn't it? Oh, for sure, 100%. And that, that's, that makes good TV and, you know, there's, there's got to be an element of accountability. Like, I, I did choose to go on the show, um, you know, and so I take full responsibility for everything I, I did and said within reason because the tricky editing thing that they do, that, that's what I really have beef with. Um, and the, the worst example of that with me was they, they cut this little promo where they put the word obey in big red letters in a graphic behind my head and they put me forward as the guy who wanted a wife to obey him, um, which I never said the word obey, I would not say that. Um, and they just, they just edited a few of my words. Like, we do an hour-long master interview before things start, right, where you talk about everything, like, and, and you talk about your life, your career, beliefs, so many different things. And they took these few tiny little snippets, edited them in a very tricky way and, and sort of made it look like I'm this kind of misogynistic asshole that wants, you know, a woman to obey me. Um, that, that for me was very deceptive, very, like, j just completely unacceptable, really. Um, I, I just do not appreciate being put in that kind of light as that kind of person. Although I do have, you know, somewhat conservative views. I think there's nothing wrong with men being leaders and, you know, trying to take a lead role in a relationship. I would never, ever in a million years say that I want a woman to obey me. And, you know, from, from the minute I was released as this, this character on the show, that, that's, that's how they released me and presented me to the world was the guy who wants a woman to obey him. Mm. Which was just, you know, from that moment on, my life changed, you know, and it hasn't been the same since.